Greetings and salutations, MegaWizard79 here with another episode of Subnautica. So, um, let's just uh, listen to this radio signal and see where we're going today. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in again. Cross your fingers for the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay. It finally happened. Ah, uh, time to go and see the sunbeam. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have essentially 30... Then essentially 40 minutes to get to that island, which is not really going to take that long. Um, it'll give us time to explore anyway. Um, just so you know, that island, um, well, it is a straight up Leviathan Bonanza. They're just everywhere. There's no escaping them. Plain and simple. To be honest, I probably should be going in my big sub, but the sub would take too long. Oh no. Uh, yep. I was inside the world for a sec. Uh uh. Oh boy, man. This place does not load very well. Anyway. But yes, the uh. So the island is see, yeah see that's the aurora right there and the island is just dead north of it mm. you know what it really makes more sense just for me to take that thing oh life pod 3 have I found life pod 3 don't think I have. Well, let's check it real quick. Oh, what is this? Uh, nope. Yep, I found it. Because otherwise it would have said, uh, new information and blah this, blah that. Anyway. But, yeah. I think it just makes more sense to just go in the big, giant, uh, <laughs> submarine. Eh. Shut up. Anyway. But, yeah, we'll just take the big submarine. Take the good times. Okay, good. I'm heading in the safe direction towards the Aurora. Because if I came from any other direction, well, let's just say, you know, I wouldn't be meeting the nice Leviathans like these guys. These guys are very nice. Whenever you see them, usually you can relax, because normally if they're around, that usually means the other guys aren't around most of the time. Granted, of course, these guys are so massive, most things don't eat them. At least up here on the surface, anyway. Alright. So. We'll just leave the sunshine right here. Uh, let me just make sure I have... That's not what I wanted. I uh, just want to make sure I have everything, all my tools. I'll take a beacon with me so I can mark the island. Not that I really need to. Uh... Ah, crumbs. I think I left the... Well, whatever, it's fine. This thing has a built-in... Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's alright. I don't really... Uh, I don't really need it. Okay, well, it's getting... Mm, actually, no. I better not. If I, I don't know if time will... Pro I don't know how much time will progress if I do that. So, we're just gonna be swimming at night, then. Alright, so we need to go that way. Alright. Alright, so... I we'll have to go a little lower, and in this general direction. Uh, 
Do 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 shh. Let's just hope big, long, and toothy doesn't see me. I'm pretty sure he will, and unfortunately, this thing is so slow. Hmm? What the heck did I hit? I hit. Uh, what did I hit? Oh, I just hit one of you, I guess. Most likely. Oh, did I hit you? Actually, we have plenty of time. So we'll just go a little deeper. Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to go this slow just because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm crossing into his territory. I'd rather him... Well, he's not coming up on radar yet, so I think I'm relatively safe. See, he's actually big enough to appear on this thing. As long as I go nice and slow, he shouldn't really... So, I'll turn this way, just at least so we're at least somewhat lined up. I don't know. I cannot see a thing. And because I'm going slow, the lights won't turn on. Which is kind of dangerous when you think about it. Because... Yeah, look at that. Look at that ticking away. Alright, but yeah. As I said, this is... This is Leviathan territory, right? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, we reached the island! Yeesh. Okay. Engine down. Okay. We're here. Or at the very least, we reach one of the... Did I hit anything? I don't think so. I mean, the red lights are... Well, I think these lights are only on because I still have it set to a head slow. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, that's the only reason. All those emergency lights only turned on to essentially conserve power. Okay, so let's get this ready. Uh, I'm going to have to take some food with me. Uh, let's see, I'll take one more of those waters. Yeah, I'll just take those. I'll eat one right now. Drink one of these. Okay. Alright. <sighs> yeah. Like I said, they constantly stalk this area, so be on your guard. Like, usually around... I mean, they're more like to the... Like, the north end of the island, but still. Not the nicest things to, uh... Be running into. Okay. Right. Also, watch out. Warpers also frequent around here. But yeah. See, like, over there... If you go too far in that direction, you'll be running into the Leviathans before you know it. 
So it's usually best to just stay right here on the shallow end. Biter. Anyway. Ah. Okay, there we go. Alright, put that away. Oh, look! Our favorite friends! Bye! So help me. <laughs> bye bye. Whatever, as long as he stays away. Anyway, now this right here is one of the most important finds you will ever come across. So, um, this thing right here, this is a bulbo tree. A bulbo tree produces both water and food. A very fair amount, too. I think it's 50. Uh, yeah, it's 10 water, 8 food. Not bad. It's very, uh, very nutritious. Uh, if you, uh, create, uh, essentially, if you fill this, uh, <laughs> there was actually this one Let's Player I saw. He filled his entire, uh, he filled his entire Cyclops with it. And, uh, yeah, that's all he ate. That is literally all he ate. <laughs> ah, there it is. It's kind of unfortunate that we move so slow. Ah! Hey, the eclipse! I shouldn't be looking at it like this because that's terrible for your eyes. Don't ever do that in real life. But yeah. Hello! Purple tablet. Let's scan that first before picking it up. Boom. Neat. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, look. There's the Aurora. Isn't that funny? But, yeah. Uh, what do you call it? But, yeah, the that Leviathan that frequents around there, he's, like, over there, pretty much. So, yeah. I would, rec I, I would um, highly advise against going over there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really not that far away. Yeah, anyway, but yeah, but this is the location where uh, the sunbeam is going to be coming. Um, I don't necessarily, I don't think this is how you try and get in here. But we have 27 minutes, so we might as well just walk around, right? I do have to say, though, it is kind of, uh... There you go. Man, he can't really jump that high, can he? Uh, I will say, though, uh, this movement speed... Mm, not the best. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, but that's the... That's the place, that's where we want to be. When the, uh, ship comes. Anyway, uh... One sec. Uh, jump. Yeah, that's the slot. Okay. Yeah, that's for slots. That's for tools. Ah. Darn it all. Ah. One sec. There we go. Yeah, push it, pushing down L3, not the most intuitive. Just putting it out there. Uh, yeah, this would have actually been one of the few times where it would have made sense for me to bring my damn flashlight. 
Oh, piss off. Please excuse the language, but those things really annoy me. They are very, very annoying. Frustrating, even. Oh, what do we got here? Can I scan these things? Yes, I can. So help me. Okay. Seriously. Piss off. I don't have time for you. Is this like a dead end? Shoot! Let's get lost. Bye. Jerks. Hmm. Oh, salt. Hmm. That was a weird sound. Uh, yeah, that looks like a straight-up dead end. That's boring. Um... Let's see... Maybe if we follow the power conduits? Oh, another purple tablet. How nice. Uh, ooh, it's this. Oh, uh, it's lithium. I have plenty of that. Did I just do it? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, I'm guessing there's nothing interesting up this hill. Uh, apart from that purple tablet we found. Riveting. Oh well, I suppose it really doesn't matter. Still have <laughs> 23 minutes to screw. Ooh, okay. I just went the wrong way is all. More lithium. More of those jerks. Ooh, hello. What are you? Can I scan you? Yes, I... If you just hold still for two seconds... <gasps> Collision. Come on. <sighs> I really don't like how this, uh... Fine, I'll scan this first. Since it's actually not moving. There. Alien arch, as if we don't know what this is. Huh? Where'd the interesting thing go? Huh? Eh, from buckets. Oh well. Eh, I'm pretty sure we'll find it again some other time. Huh? Huh? Uh. Oh. oh come on, that wasn't even that much of a drop. He's such a pansy. Ah, there you are. Just hold, hold still. Huh? Don't go into the wall. Get down here. Uh, I don't want to chase you everywhere. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, there's another one. Just... Come on, come on. Just... Ugh, I hate the scanning in this thing. There, finally. Ugh. I always knew that thing would be annoying to scan, but my goodness. Oh, get lost. Alright, doesn't look like there's much in here. Alright, let's keep going down. Lithium, lithium. Wonder where this takes us. If it takes us anywhere, anywhere meaningful. Uh, looks like it's taking us back outside. Oh, shale. <laughs> Anything interesting here? Okay, we're just on the You get lost. Honestly, just go and fall off a ditch. Alright, I guess this is probably the other side of the island. Considering that we can see the aurora, but we can't see the base anymore. I hate those things so much. Back inside the caves. Those are good times. Yeah. This is the side of the island that we came out from. Oh well. Sun's starting to set. Uh, wonder how fast the day night cycle is here. Oh well. Since I don't want to do that whole cave system again, I'll just do this. Interesting that the holographic display only appears when you're in the water. But this is the rendezvous point. This is where they want us to meet up. Right here. But I want to try and get in there somehow. Ah! That looks promising. Hmm. Oh, another purple tablet. Uh, this one's broken, though. Oh, it's a fragment. That's not what I wanted. Okie doke. So it's a force field. Alright, fortunately we have plenty of these. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. 
I mean, it's not like I haven't seen this before, but... Man, it's something else to be actually inside of it and, you know, experiencing it firsthand. Oh, I got an I got an achievement. Uh, ancient trophies. Uh, guess I just take your data. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Hey, right, let's see what we got here. Uh, for the research required, blah blah blah. It's talking about the actual. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which de designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory or apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcasted by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. So, they're, uh, telepaths. Okay. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. You think? <sighs> Seriously. She always patronizes me. Oh, what's this? Ion cube. Sure, we'll pick you up. Yeah, sure. Just, just play around with it. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. I'd say aesthetic. Cause there's nothing functional about having these ingrained patterns. I say this because these things are annoying to clean. Do you have any idea how annoying it is to have to clean every single one of these blasted engravings? You know, if even the slightest bit of, you know, garbage got inside of it? Ugh, it's a nightmare. Seriously. You think cleaning grout is hard? Huh, this is like a thousand times worse. At least grout at least with grout it's a nice simple line. This is like a ton of geometric patterns and corners and ah. That is no fun. Language attempting translation. Uh enforcement platform schematic. So uh, this is a multi Multi-dimensional schematic of some kind, blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Power, layout, control. Okay. So that's just giving a somewhat layout of this place. Anyway, we only have 12 minutes, so let's do Whoa. Okay, that... Wow. Whoa. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that, but okay. All right then. That's a neat kind of oh hello. Ha. Huh. Well then. Looks like we got ourselves a docking bay. Neat. This looks like a really good place to probably park the good times when not in service. Anyway. We got ten minutes left, so... Let's just skadoosh to this place as quickly as we can. For the most part, it doesn't really look like there's much. That's a gun!
Alien rifle. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. I think I prefer mine, thank you very much. It may not be lethal, but it's effective. Ooh, another purple tablet. I'll take that. Don't know when I'll ever need another purple tablet. Another little doodad. Doomsday device. Well. Wow. Got nine minutes. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Well, what do you know? <laughs> There's much else. Um, I come in peace. Hmm. Hi, hello. No, no, ow. Broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Weapon? I say as if I don't know. <laughs> Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Uh-oh. Quickly, we've got to tell, we've got to find some way to warn the sunbeam. <laughs> we have to hurry. Quickly, feet. <laughs> we have eight minutes. I mean, I could just go through there and just go around, but to be honest, I don't think it uh, is wise considering that I know for a fact <laughs> there are leviathans over there. <laughs> no, thank you. And besides, it's only seven minutes. I have the time. And since I finally discovered the sprint, we should get there with time to spare. As long as I don't get lost, which is somewhat possible. But so this is more dramatic, trying to run, trying to, you know, run back and maybe get to a radio or something and, you know, try and warn them. Even though our character is as mute as mute can be. So, let's see, we're pretty much already back at the entrance. It's really not that far. I don't know why people complain about basically. Yeah, see? Boom. There we are. Back at the entrance. With six minutes to spare. But yeah, there's like nothing we can do, unfortunately. All we can do is just. Uh, sit here and wait. Which is kind of boring. Um, you know, from a content perspective. Uh. Let's see. Uh, that's just all of that. <gasps> Ooh, sorry. <gasps> Seek fluid intake. All right. Oh wow. Ooh. I didn't realize. I was not paying attention. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. There. Not dying anymore. Um. Hmm. Well. I probably should. Yeah, I'll take one of these back with me. Uh, cause I, 
I think I have plant. Yeah, I have planters. I could actually plant these things. So, how many samples can I take? I guess I could just do that real quick. And there, four should do it. All right. Oh wait, I can't because I. Yep, I left all my tools back at base. Ah. Oh well. Well, at the very least, I can put this stuff away inside my ship. Doo -dee -doo uh hmm? the heck is this? Oh, it's just a Cyclops engine fragment. Yeah, so if you haven't found, um, you know, the final pieces of your Cyclops, you'll definitely find them around here. There's quite a few. Welcome on board, Captain. All systems online. Alright, let's put my titanium away. It's bleach and stuff, I don't need that. Um... I'll put the ion cubes away in here for now. With my alien doodads. Uh, I'll put that away in here for now because I don't need it at the moment. Uh, let's see. And then I'll put these samples away in here. Alright. That should do it. Uh... I guess I'll just grab one more thing of water, and then we'll just head back there and wait, I suppose. There. Um, yeah, there's really not much else to do. Unfortunately. Uh, all we can do is just wait. We still have, like, we still have three minutes. Hmm. Yeah, sorry about this. I I figured it'd be more I figured there'd be more things to do on this blasted island, but mm, it doesn't really look like it. Oh well, but now that I have the bulbo tree samples, um I should be good in regards to my food. Well, and my water too. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's really not much else to do. Oh yeah, I'm very, I'm very noticeable here. <sighs> yeah, it'll be showing up in a few. It'll be showing up in just under two minutes. Uh, yeah. Oops, wrong button. Hmm. <laughs> let me see. So, I think I can now make purple. Ta yep, I can make purple tablets. I need diamonds. Of course I do. Uh, well, you don't really use diamonds for much else, so I guess it makes sense. Let's see. Uh, let's see. The alien archway. Yeah. Energy core. Equivalent to a... 100 megaton nuclear detonation? I swear, these numbers. <laughs> um, likely grown artificially. Cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a large deposit. 
Each cubic each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 50 kilotons of TNT? Okay, I think they're just making these numbers up at this point. Because, I mean... Alright, so... A kilo. That... Oh. Here it comes. Alright, everyone. Get ready. Oh, boy. Look at that thing. Just look at that thing. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Oh, no. No. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, no. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down at 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, if any of you had any illusions of getting off this planet before turning that off, well then, there you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> until next time, this is MegaWizard79. Bidding you all a fiery adieu. Very elegant.